Hi you guys! So happy to see you again. Thank you for tuning into my channel and if you haven't, take a look at my blog. It should be located on the channel and the link will be in the description below. But today I got a really good review for you. As promised, as I had done in the coffee scrub review from the last video, I'm going to be reviewing this baby right here. This is the Frank Body Shimmer Scrub. More to come soon. a shimmer scrub I really really like the bag too it's <laughs> it's pretty much shimmery and it has a nice rainbow color too as advertised now this came from Frank body so you might not know what Frank body is well let me give you a bit of a rundown before I actually get into this product in particular Frank body is an Australian company that formed in 2013 I don't know if it was early or late 2013 but I know that it formed during that year by two young ladies unfortunately I do not know their names but they made this company with the intention of performing of um, creating the first coffee scrub to ever be presented to young folks like myself and plenty of other people too so they created this coffee scrub and they intent intent initially they were gonna sell it online and that's basically all they did they just sold this one coffee scrub online well that coffee scrub gained so much popularity that they decided to not only expand from that <coughs> excuse me one coffee scrub they decided to include a few more coffee scrubs along with a face line and a body care line so Frank Body is now very popular, not just in Australia, but popular worldwide. If you don't know them, I'll leave all the information below. You can check out their website and you can also check out their Instagram page because that's where exactly I found them. The two tags, the two Instagram hashtags, I will put below on the bottom of the screen here. But their hashtags are the Frank Effect and what was the other one? Let's Be Frank. I'll put them down below so you can see them. But that's your little mini history lesson for now. In particular, I end up purchasing this. Unfortunately, this is limited edition, so I have no idea when this scrub is going to be available again. But I end up purchasing this a long time ago. It is around 1995. And plus, if you had noticed, shipping on Frank Body is free throughout the entire United States. So if you're interested in trying their, their products, go ahead and give it a shot because you won't have to pay for shipping and handling but this is 1995 and it comes in a 7.05 fluid ounce um, bag and like I said the bag is bag is really really pretty too it just kinda shimmers you know <laughs> I can go on all and on day about this shimmer stuff but um it's supposed to contain mica and a whole bunch of it contains mica Titanium dioxide, uh, coffee powder, salt, pretty much all the good stuff. And on top of that, it is vegan. So you don't need to worry. So if you're more geared towards vegan and cruelty-free stuff like myself in general, you will love this stuff. And I have to say, it's a really, really good scrub. I mean, it's not, to me, it's not over... It's not something I would completely rave about, but it is a pretty good scrub. And you know me. If you know me, then you should know that the one of the hardest areas that I usually scrub for my entire body on would be my underarms, my face, my bikini area, which unfortunately I'm not going to show you in front of the camera because then you would have to censor it. But I usually massage it on those areas. Oh, and I don't forget my legs too. But this particular scrub did a pretty good job exfoliating and on top of that since it has mica in it it's supposed to give you this nice shimmery glittery effect here I saw that I did get that effect in fact before I even get to that they do advertise that this scrub wasn't meant to be used on your face just on your body but you know me I like to cheat if I'm gonna use a scrub like this sure as heck gonna know that I'm gonna use it on my face to see how well it works but in terms of it used on my body it's really good it does leave a nice little shimmery effect but it's not something you notice right away you have to look straight up close you have to get like straight up close to your skin and move your move your arms and limbs around a little bit or move around a little bit to actually see the shimmer you won't shine like a disco ball or a bright fancy unicorn as they say so the shimmer effect that they that they put in this scrub is not something that I'm really excited about because really to me that's equivalent to excuse me 
long eyelashes are in the way. But um, to me, the shimmery effect is only good on certain days, but then on other days, like really hot summer days, which is currently what we're going, what I'm going through right now since I'm in Florida, um, it makes me look like I've been sweating a whole lot. And you know I have oily skin, so when I use this, on rare occasions, I'll use it for my face. And by the way, for my face, it does really, really well. All in all, this scrub pretty much leaves my skin smooth less bumpy all the dry skin is off and it does leave it pretty moisturized now, one of the things that it tells you is here is in order for you to keep your shimmer you cannot use lotion or any kind of body moisturizer after you use this scrub you have to actually smooth on this scrub after you're done washing up your body and you rinse off your soap you use the scrub and then you rinse it off with lukewarm to cool water so you can get all the scrub off of you and that's it you cannot use a body moisturizer after this because if you do you will probably lose your shimmer and that's what's happened to me before and on top of that on top of me losing my shimmer it also made my skin feel a little slimy so yeah there is a bit of an oily feel after you use this, but that oily feeling goes away when you lightly pat your skin with your towel. After that, you're pretty much all set. It does a pretty job, decent job moisturizing. I'm not going to complain about it. Three complaints. The first one is the price, but then again, I can't really complain about that, so I guess I can rate that number three. The price is around $20. Now, unfortunately for me, I don't make that much money. And this, in general, was an impulse buy. So when I first decided to purchase this, this was straight up impulse. As soon as I saw the free shipping, I said, all right, I'm going to get it. But for me to purchase this on the regular is a no-go for me. This is something I would get as a luxury item because I can't really see myself forking out $20 again and again and again just for a really good scrub. This is something I would have to purchase as a luxury. My second complaint... Well, number two, I'm going backwards since I've already did number three. Number two is the size of this. Since it advertises at 7.05 fluid ounce, I would expect a little more scrub. But honestly, when I got it, the scrub was like right down here. I expected, I kind of expected it to be filled all the way up here, but it just when I opened the bag, all the scrub just kind of went at the bottom, and you don't really get a lot to use. So. I really wish they could have added some more to it. That's my only complaint. Maybe that's just me, but I wish they could have given me a little bit more. My third one is on the actual scrub itself. By the way, I completely f it smells exactly like coffee mixed with something else. It's like a the first fragrance that hits you is the smell of robust coffee, but then it's mixed in with other stuff. I can't really describe it except that it starts off as coffee and then it just kind of melts away into this weird creamy smell if that makes any sense. I forgot to mention this scrub has sugar and salt in it. It's not just coffee. So if you're going to use it, I highly recommend that you use it on warm, humid, hot days because if you leave this scrub in a cold place you're probably going to get this result because this scrub has hardened into these weird looking rock shaped <laughs> scrubby balls that are way too abrasive for my skin and they're hard to dissolve in, in even shower water or bath water unfortunately so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use the rest of this but because this actually happened it makes it very tough on your skin to the point where I've even tried to use the scrub on my skin mostly on my neck and decollete area and it just left it red and inflamed meaning that it's just too abrasive so if your scrub actually hardens up like this just be very very careful and try to break it into small pieces as much as possible otherwise you're going to have a really really tough scrub that is just too harsh on your skin I wish they have a formula that didn't really have the sugar and salt in it but whatever that's just that's the way that it is but that's pretty much all I have to say about it I would give it around 4 out of 5 and 4.5 out of 5 flowers I mean it's good 
I don't see myself actually purchasing this particular type of scrub from Frank Body. There's another scrub from Frank Body I want to try, which is the coconut one. But I have to get done with my coffee, with the coffee scrub first, because that's what I'm currently using. But if you're interested in trying the shimmer scrub, there is a petition on the Frank Body website. You'll have to head over there. I don't remember exactly where it is, but I think. Once you get to the Frank Body website, you click on products and then you look for the shimmer scrub because it's still listed there even though it says sold out. And then right underneath the description of the shimmer scrub is a little petition that you can sign up for. And they created this petition on Instagram and on the website to, you know, get the opinions of the people of their fans to see, hey, should we bring back the shimmer scrub? I don't know. I don't really have much of an opinion on it. This was a pretty decent product, but in terms of making me shimmer like a disco ball, mm -hmm. not really. I just want a scrub that gets the job done. And it did just that, but I think it could do without the mica in it. So that's pretty much my opinion on Frank Body. If you've actually tried other Frank Body scrubs or other Frank Body products, let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions about Frank Body in general, Put them in the comments below and I will try to answer them as much as possible. If you're interested in checking out my blog, my blog blog post to this particular product is in the link is in the description below. You can check that out. Thank you guys for watching. If you appreciate this review, a thumbs up is always appreciated. And feel free to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. Okay? Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I am signing off guys. See you later.